These are the best settings to export for YouTube from Final Cut Pro. You're gonna wanna come up to the upper right hand corner, click that, and instead of using the YouTube and Facebook preset that comes with Final Cut Pro, I'm actually gonna strongly suggest you just add a destination. Once you're here, go ahead, click and drag the export file preset, and you can place this anywhere you like in the list. I'm gonna place it right at the very top. You can double click that and rename it to whatever you would like. Go on over here to the right side and you will see the format options. Click and make sure that that is set to video and audio. After that, go down to video codec and change it from same as source to H.264. This is a very, very high quality format, but it's very efficient so that the file sizes will not be absolutely ginormous. You also have the option to include chapter markers and you can have it so that it opens QuickTime Player when it's done exporting or you can just have it save only. Now I'm going to share with you one quick tip of advice. If you go on up to the format, you can actually change this down to the computer options and I strongly suggest that you do this instead. Well, regular H.264 is definitely going to be slightly higher in quality, this option gives you some extra variety in your settings. So you can change your video codec from H.264 faster in code to better quality and you can also change the resolution on each export. So let's say you're working in a 4 4K project but you want to export to 1080p, you can actually select 1920 by 1080. So now when you want to export a video, you just go up to your share menu, click on YouTube and you can go into your settings here and you can change the resolution to whatever you like and then you can push next and save the video as you would. If you want to learn everything there is about the magnetic timeline in Final Cut Pro, I strongly suggest you check out this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.